I was trying to think of something clever to say, but I got nothing. Hey, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from wearetesters.com. Today we got a quick detailed look at these guys right here. This is Kyrie's budget friendly option, even though his signature is budget friendly, at least it is in my opinion. But this is the $80 Nike Kyrie fly trap. Now in hand, do these feel like a budget shoe? Like do they just literally feel like they cost $80. I don't know what $80 is really worth to everybody. To me, 80 bucks is still pretty substantial. So in that sense, these feel like they're worth a little bit less than that. I'm not trying to knock the shoe. I'm just saying they feel a little cheap. However, it's all about performance. We're going to talk about their performance features, their tech specs. Then I will wear test them, come back and give you guys a performance review in a couple of weeks. So with that being said, the traction is very similar to what we saw on the Kyrie 4. However, this one just kind of looks and feels a little bit less aggressive. It doesn't come out of the shoe quite as much, at least not as much as it did on the Kyrie 4. I'll try to give you guys a side by side just to show you what I'm talking about. And something that I think is interesting is that I can actually feel like there's some sort of residue on the bottom here. So I'm pretty sure that they're going to require some kind of break in time. The rubber was a little bit different on the Kyrie 4. So even though they did require break in time, I didn't feel like they needed to until I actually took them out for a spin. But these guys feel like there's something slick on the bottom. I don't know what it is, but hopefully it comes off pretty quickly because otherwise I don't know if this is going to bite as nicely as the Kyrie 4 did. Now, the cushion is something that some people might love, especially if you're a fan of something like the Kyrie 2 or the Kyrie 3, because this is a slight step up from that. However, if you were into what they use on the Kyrie 1 or even the Kyrie 4, you might not enjoy this setup quite as much. There's a package here, and it's a pair of these again. Go ahead. Do you want these right now? Who sent those? Nike. Huh? Are you sure? Um, sure. Hmm, that's weird. I was wrong. I thought that they were the other pair of these. Well, that's uh, that's cool. <laughs> so yeah, I guess a uh, review on these coming soon. But as I was saying, the cushion setup right here is on the minimalistic side. You have a lightweight Phylon midsole. It feels kind of squishy, so not the dense stuff that we've been getting. This feels a little bit nicer than that. You can feel a little bit of compression underneath your foot, especially right here in the heel where they kind of core it out like a running shoe. And then the forefoot area does have Zoom Air. However, it's a hex unit, so it's, it's only <laughs> that big. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing because if you guys played in some of the previous Kobe models, they used to use a Met bag right there so it was kind of the same thing although those units were a lot more like they covered a lot more area I guess at the ball of the foot where a hex unit is pretty small again at the same token the CP3 line they have actually used hex units and I actually really like them however those hex units used a pod system so it kind of pressed that that unit into your foot a little bit and gave it more of a springy feel like something like the 28 the 29 and the 30s. Talking about the Air Jordan 28 through 30. Whereas these guys don't have that. It's just a, a typical like Kyrie, not quite super rounded, but you know, semi rounded midsole and outsole. So again, minimalistic setup. I don't know if everybody's gonna like it. Some people might love it. Some people might hate it. I can't actually feel it right now just because I only try them on. So, you know, I can't give you like a great assessment on it or anything like that. But once I play in them, again, the performance review will have all of that information on what I think about them on court. So stay tuned for that. Something I do like though is that they did carry over that that split right here from the Kyrie 4 to the fly trap. It's not quite as large or anything like that as the Kyrie 4, but I still think it's cool that it's in there. It will give you a small break. It'll give you a little bit of additional mobility from left to right or laterally. So I think that that's cool. Now the upper here is is pretty much the part that feels on the cheap side. Now granted the, the lack of cushion does as well, but if we're talking about like what things actually feel like, the upper is the part where you could tell like this is like a, a budget model. So we have a basic textile used for majority of the upper. It feels like a very light and very thin type of mesh. It's not backed by much of anything, which I think is very interesting. However, I will say that throughout the shoe, this is not the best colorway to showcase this, and I don't I don't know if they're gonna actually make colorways that actually do highlight this fact, but all over the shoe on top of that textile is actually additional stitching, much like the Harden Volume 2, which is pretty interesting because I had just said in that video it would be nice to see that type of additional layer, I guess, of material used on other shoes that use softer uppers just because 
because it did actually add some additional strength to the material, which I thought was very interesting. Something simple like that was actually a really good fix for overstretching and potential ripping. And that's what this material feels like it would do. This material right here, especially right here at the lateral end, I feel like this stuff would just rip right apart on certain movements for certain players. But because it's laced with additional stitching throughout, and I'm talking about everywhere from the back to the front, which I think is going to really kind of like upgrade that cheaper material into something a little bit stronger while still being very lightweight, very malleable, very breathable, and comfortable on foot, which they actually were. The interior panel right here is another textile. It doesn't have that additional stitching, and I don't think it needs it. It's actually part of the tongue, which is interesting. So it's got that burrito style wrap right there, much like the Harden Volume 1. So I think those are some interesting touches to the upper itself. One thing that I really like right here is this band. It's an elastic band. It's tied into the lacing that's right there at the forefoot, so the forefoot fit feels awesome. The overall fit feels awesome as well, but I really like the way that it feels right there at the forefoot area. And you can see it highlighted by the screen printed overlays right there. And that also highlights the, the type of movements that Kyrie does on the court, which is pretty cool. And then you do have some basic fuse right around the eye stay area, very much needed, especially with an upper as thin as this. If you were to pull these laces too tightly, you'd rip right through that stuff. So having that additional layer right there is very good. And again, I think it's real interesting that it's not backing the rest of the shoe. This is an actual mesh without anything behind it. Very nice, very nice. You do have some synthetic leather at the heel as well as at the tongue. You got Kyrie's logo right there on the tongue as well, letting you guys know that it is Kyrie's shoe. In terms of overall fit, I'd go true to size. Wide footers, you might wanna go up half a size just because that four foot band area feels a little bit snug. And I also wouldn't wanna see somebody put too much pressure on that, that cheaper mesh material and potentially rip it. So you might wanna just go up half a size just to accommodate that. But otherwise, that's pretty much all she wrote. I think that these are pretty interesting. I think that they look very similar to the Kyrie 4, but you can tell that it's kind of in line with that family, but it's also a takedown model. It reminds me of what Jordan brand used to actually do with their, their main flagship shoe or the, the annual Air Jordan. And they had a couple of team models that kind of took inspiration from that. But you guys let me know what you think about these down below in the comment section. Are you interested in these guys? Do you think that they look better than those guys back there? Sound off below and let me know down below in the comment section. I would love to hear from you guys. If you are interested in these, they are available right now over at eastbay.com. Again, retail price is 80 bucks. A direct link will be down below in the description box. You can also grab the shirt available now, free shipping as well. Just saying. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. And until next time, guys, have a good one.